Thanks, Chief, and I'm really pleased to be back here tonight with the Volunteer Forum. And I'm rapt to be appointed to the DCO Operational Doctrine and Training on a permanent basis. The focus for me going forward in that role, I really want to work on improvements needed to ensure CFA can meet the training needs of the organisation going forward. And that's the work that we've been doing in the last 10 months. What we're looking to do is to ensure our training and our delivery of training meets the needs of our organisation and our members. And we'll be focusing on that over the next years to ensure that we can meet the needs of our organisation and members, ensuring that they are able to operate safely in their communities. There's two things that I want to talk about tonight. The first one is our training enhancement plan. The training enhancement plan has been derived from the work around CFA's operating model. The operating model itself was uh, developed through consultation with members in the field to identify uh, the various aspects of the organisation that needed to improve to ensure we're ready for the future. And training is a key component of that. The aim of the model is to ensure that we can mature CFA's training model into the future. And it'll focus on the most pressing challenges that we have with our current model. It'll look to include work around our role clarity, to ensure that people within learning and development, ODT, and our instructors, both volunteer and paid, have clarity in what their roles and responsibilities are to ensure that we're meeting the needs of our members. It'll look at compliance around our remediation work for RTO governance and ensure that we can maintain and enhance our RTO stature into the future. It'll look at our learning management system, which is a key component for our members when they're entering training programs and when they're looking for statements of attainment and accessing important training material. We want our LMS to be the point of contact for our members going forward in our training areas. It'll look at our training development work plan and our schedule to ensure that we're able to maintain the capacity and the modernisation of our training programs and be able to replicate them in a range of ways to ensure that the demographic of our membership are able to achieve and to complete training programs easily and accessibly. It'll look at our campus management and we want to look to improve our campuses that are currently in place and ensure that we can maximise the utilisation of the campuses and make them a great experience, as we see they are, for our members. This will take us several years to work through, but we're already making steady progress and I'm really looking forward to the outcomes as we continue to build our training enhancement program for CFA. The second thing I want to talk about is our instructor conferences. We're establishing eight instructor conferences in May and June that will be delivered in uh, a, a number of locations across the state, essentially based on locations around our training campuses. And what we're aiming to do is to invite our volunteer instructors to the conferences to pick up on the current things that are being developed in training, to talk about some of our learning management system, our assessment processes, and to do some workshopping around how we can continue to support and grow our volunteer instructors into the future. I think they'll be a really uh, important process and an important opportunity for us to hear from our volunteers, from our instructor cohort, and to understand what's important to them and to share some of our ideas about how we can be successful together in the future. I'm really looking forward to it. So that concludes tonight's update, Chief. I'll pass back to you.